Hi, I'm Bob Tabor with www.learnvisualstudio.net. In this module, I'm going to demonstrate how to lease a blob so that you can update it and make sure that no other processes are updating the blob at the same time uh, to protect it from being corrupted or whatever the case might be. So when you put a lease or when you acquire a lease on a blob, you're basically putting a temporary lock on it in order to update it and that lock will uh, stay for a specific amount of time or until you release it. And during that time, no other write operations can be performed on it than the, than the one who's holding the lease. So I have two projects to demonstrate this. One is going to be uh, a, uh, an application that sets a lease or acquires a lease. And then the other one is just going to try to write to the file no matter what, regardless of the lease. Uh, so either the, the first project, blob lease, will put a lease on it, write something to it, uh, and then release the lease. And then, uh, or we can run the blob lease test, which will just try to write no matter what. And we'll see that it'll fail when there's a lease on the blob. All right, so to get started, um, just to kind of uh, walk through some of, the, uh, some of the finer points, this is all the usual uh, connection to the container sort of code that you should be used to already. Here's uh, a way to get a reference to a blob. And now that we have that blob reference, we're going to attempt to acquire a lease for 45 seconds. And we're going to use this generate lease condition method to uh, actually, uh, later on when we attempt to write to this blob from this application, we're going to need that access condition to actually write to it here. So now that we have the lease, we're going to open up the blob and we're going to attempt to write to it. If it doesn't already exist, then we're going to upload it. Here we're going to try to write to it and uh, obviously we're going to attempt to open it or write to it and we're going to pass it that access condition that, hey, we're the ones who hold the lease on it. And then attempt to write some string. I think I've got the string right here. Yeah, just uh, basically a string that says from blob lease and then the current date time. And then when we're done, we can either release the lease programmatically or we can just let it run out uh, by itself. And we've set it to 45 seconds, so after 45 seconds that we acquire the lease, the lease would expire. So either way, we can tell it to release it or we can let it just expire on its own. And then in the test, it's pretty much the same code except for the fact that we're just going to try to blindly write to it and not really even worry about leases, just to see what happens. So here's the situation. Let me, uh, let's take a look at the file as we get started. I've already got it up there. Um, and it's here, this example.txt, let's open it up. And you can see I've run this a couple of times already. Uh, it's going to either print out that this is a printout from the test application or from the leasing application. Let's go and close that. So let's first of all run the blob lease test and we'll see that it has no encumbrances as it attempts to write uh, to the blob. Let's open up our example again. And we can see that it added this statement here uh, at 1.25 in the afternoon. All right, great, let's close that down. Now, let us acquire a lease. So let's run the application. And here we're gonna hit enter to create a lease for 45 seconds. So we finished writing, but now let's attempt to run the blob lease test again and see what we get this time. We st uh, since it's within 45 seconds, this lease should still be on the, uh, the blob and it is, and we get this exception. Um, let's see if we can get, yeah, uh, storage exception, the remote server returned an error 412. There's currently a lease on the blob and no lease ID was specified in the request. Uh, and so it just errors out on us, all right? So now let's just wait and for about 30 seconds or so and then I'll try to run this again. All right, and this time it says that it finished successfully. So we should see two new entries in this example.txt. The first one should be from the blob lease. It put a 45 second lease on it at this point. And then we attempted to run the test. At first it didn't work, but then the second time we ran it, um, 
looks like about 45 seconds later or so, uh, we were able to successfully write to it. All right, so that is all I really wanted to demonstrate with leasing a blob, updating it, and, uh, and disallowing any other processes to write to the blob during that time. All right, hopefully that was helpful, and uh, we'll continue on to the last topic here as we work with blobs. See you in the next one. Bye.